boxing has long had a mixed representation in the media, with some arguments suggesting it is brutal, violent and dangerous sport, whilst others celebrating its popularity and the athletes involved in the sport. What can't be argued is the sport's popularity and with audience figures continually rising it seems like the sport is here to stay, like it or not. In this documentary we are looking beyond the ring and into the lives of those who have found boxing as a form of salvation and escape from life that without boxing may have turned out very different. Uh, I was walking home one day, I got jumped by two or three people, um, busted my lip, got beat up quite bad and then decided that enough was enough and uh, it wasn't the first time I'd been beaten up so I thought I'd just learn to defend myself and then one thing led to another, ended up catching a bug and then here I am now. Um, mentally it's made me a lot more disciplined. Uh, keep for example, little things like keep my room tidy. Um, I, I eat well, I train well, run every day. I make sure that I keep my body in top condition. I treat it really, really well. I really look after it. it. Keeps me away from things like smoking, drinking, drugs, parties, them sort of things. Um, but I mean, there are aspects of it where it has changed me for the worse, I'd say. Um, I mean, if somebody was to push my buttons enough, I definitely wouldn't hesitate to buy it. Uh, just because I know that obviously if if you're capable of doing something you'll do it so because I know of what I'm capable of it makes me more likely to hit out it's a good question um, firstly uh, that time when I got beat up uh, their faces are always in my face in my head um, when I'm fighting they constantly strike me on just because I, I want to prove to myself that I'm better than that. I'm not the same person who was picking himself up off the floor back then all bloody and bruised. Um, I'm not that person anymore. Uh, and also, during the first few years that I started boxing, I had a really tough time. So I was a bit sort of in and out of the gym just because within them, the first few years, my mum and dad broke up, moved out of my the home that I've been brought up in. Um, and then my nan died, my granddad died. So it all happened in quite a short space of time. Um, so yeah, so that did help me through it though. I think if it wasn't for boxing, I would have been in a lot darker place then. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's probably been one of the best things mentally that's ever happened to me. Um, but yeah, so I use that to strive me on. I use that as motivation. I want to do them people proud. Uh, I want to make the best out of a bad situation. Uh, so I just use that to keep moving forward, and keep striving forward and better myself. Obviously, the first thing, Muhammad Ali, uh, just even, not even as a boxer, just as a person, I just have a lot of respect for him, the things he did outside the ring, the things he had to go through, and the way he conducted himself throughout all of that was just amazing. Um, I like, not necessarily as a boxer, but I like Conor McGregor, uh, just because of the, a bit like Muhammad Ali, the showboating, the, the trash talk, all the camaraderie that comes of it. Um, but then, I like other boxers as well, like Andy Joshua, because they're just, they're humble, they're honest, uh, and I've got a lot of respect for them for that, because when you've achieved what someone like that's achieved, it's quite easy to become big-headed. Uh, I mean, the ultimate goal is to be world champion. Um, that's like a kid's dream, now wanting to be a footballer, and play for their favourite club. Um, but, I mean, there's no reason why it can't be achieved. Uh, people have started boxing a lot later than me. Andy Joshua started boxing at 18, I started at 30. So I mean, I've got five years in, so it's always possible. Um, but yeah, I mean, more short term, I want to first get hold of the county belts, then the national belts next year. Um, and then from then on, I want to fight for the GB squad and then work my way up as an amateur and then turn pro about 19, 20.